What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Some Tits in the last episode. Finally, we got to Chapter 1. Uh, we actually, pretty much all last episode was the beginning of Chapter 1. Um, now that we know that uh, Estelle's dad has gone missing from the ship that went missing, we have traveled all the way to Bo's to, to basically take that search up ourselves, essentially. We're not going to have the Royal Army tell us what we can and can't do about searching for ourselves. So, to officially uh, consider it bracer business to actually go do this search, we gotta go talk to the mayor here of Bose. By the way, in last episode we kinda looked around in Bo's here. Um, we need to talk to the mayor though, which is on the other side. That's the entrance we just came in. Yeah, last time we pretty much explored most of this main area of Bose. We got more, we haven't checked any of these other areas, the south block, the port, and I haven't gone to the west highway yet either. But right now, that's not our concern. Right now, our concern is talking to La, Mo La Mayor. Which, if they remember correctly, they said it was a she. Let's meet her. Wow, now, isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Crazy expensive. Calm down, Estelle. Calm your toots. It looks like this is the mayor's place, all right? Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, she home, all right. That's not a she. Oh, do we have visitors? Oh, it's a butler. Home, oh, do we have visitors? Mm, yeah. Welcome to Bose, the Bose Mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're from we're with the Bracer Guild. The mayor asked, made a request to the guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I've heard from the mayor that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the chapel. We actually were there last episode. When do you expect her back, sir? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it would be alright to call her on her at the chapel? Well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry, it would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Mm, gemstones from every- what? Mm, um, how colorful. But quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Why don't you be her man? Huh? Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor's being accompanied by a maid, huh? That sounds easy enough to find in a crowd of people. Let's hurry and head over to the chapel. It's not going to be that big of a crowd. This game ain't that large and in charge and full of peeps all right so the chapel was the purple building i believe over here yup bo's chapel huh, she's got a maid with her well there's a maid right here there's also a girl right here what up she doesn't look like she has, she has yeah ah. she doesn't look like she has anyone with her though oh there you are you're the maid we've been looking for and you are? I like her, Miss Blue Hair. Mmm, how you doing? Leela. Or Lila. Uh, probably go with Leela. I always thought Lila was like with a Y. I don't know. Lila, Leela. Leela and Stitch. Still, that wasn't very polite. My apologies, we're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Leela. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where's the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. <laughs> nice. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. Haha, <laughs> well she doesn't sound, she doesn't, s well doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued, mm. There is no, 
doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't know how to feel about going back there empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to meet the mayor? Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to Bo's Market then. Okay, we got ourselves another party member! More party members! Maybe not. We got ourselves a maid. She's got a face. There's a chance she could be a party member, right? Anyway, she's inspecting the trouble at the market or something? I don't know what that means. Wow, this place is really huge! I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. It's the one in the red. Ooh, dang, she looked young, though. For real? Okay. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up? You're not fit to be merchants in bows. But, ma'am... We were just thinking about how to increase sales for the Bose market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were the other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. But return these goods to their original prices at once. Alright. We'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt you're passionate for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get it right down to it, is an es the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in bows. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. <laughs> Whew. Madam. Leela, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is? Could you be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us, but... So does that mean you're, uh... <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and mayor of the Bose region. Whoa, dude, I almost went country. Maybe she should be country. She's fucking Maybell, dude. Oh shit, she took us to the fancy restaurant too? Nice. This restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really gonna have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good too. I tell you what though, I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mother, mayor, the mayor, he's my mother mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the post market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather unvarnished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high hat about that. But anyway, would it be alright to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well, what I would like to ask you to do, that you do, is investigate the disappearance of the missing Irsh and bring the closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war. We're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I for one would be honored, but don't you think that you're overrating us just a bit? Eh, uh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is also going to suffer. And just when business has been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. I see, so this is an economic appeal, right? Yes. And it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the Army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but... The army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked bracers from the beginning. So, do you... you, you know who the general is, Mayor Maybell? 
He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Maybe. Meaning? Lila? Lila? Yes, madam. Lila produced a, let a sheet of letter paper, a fountain pen from her pocket, and handed it to Mayor Mayville. Uh-huh. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. Mayor Mayville's letter. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request from information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet as long as you had your identities. You'd probably be best served by saying that your messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying, we'd just be not telling them everything. Yeah, see? Not telling them something isn't lying, it's just withholding information. Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Hocken Gate on the international border to the north of Bowes. You should be able to find the general there. Then that's where I shall go, baby. Alright, everyone, I'm counting on you. You just leave everything to us. If we find out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. See you. Can't wait to meet you again. All right, let's get going, shall we? The Hocken Gate is at the end of Eisen Road to the north of the East Bowes Highway. In short, we need to head out the East Gate and then turn north thereafter, right? Alrighty then, Hocken Gate, here we come. Don't worry, I already know where we need to go, but I'ma stop by the guild, yo. Gonna see if there's any new missions, though. Ain't no more new missions for you, ho. The only mission we got is from a village, though. We haven't been to the village of Revenue, yo. We'll find it one day and get some stuff, too. Because I really want a fishing missions, too. F fishing, fishing, what, what, what did I just say? Fishing missions? Finish missions. Okay, question. Question. Do I need to buy anything? I don't know. I feel like I already went shopping here, didn't I? I think I did. Let's not worry about it right now. Let's just head to the freaking Hawken base. Hawken base! Alright, so the Hawken base is on the Eisen Road, which is on the north path over here. So let's just follow the road to the turn. Scooby dooby dooby doo. I don't think we saw any enemies on this pass, so that's good. Let's just head north then. To the Hawken Road, or to the Eisen Road that leads to Hawken, rather. Oh. Are we gonna have to get permission to go through here? Hold it right there! The Hawken Gate is currently not permitting civilian patches through the checkpoint. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed to have this point! Sorry to make you waste your breath, but we are authorized to be here. Estelle produced Mayor Maybell's letter with a flourish. This is Mayor Maybell's. The mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you can see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. Are you serious about this, man? Don't you know? Mayor Maybell's the one in charge over the entire region. You can't just ignore that. I guess you're right. Alright. We'll grant you permission to pass. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. Trob problems? Troublems. Problems. Whatever happens, never forget that we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, we got it already. Alright, then, let us through. Yeah, alright. And we're off. Okay, what the hell is this? I don't know. Looks like a door. Smells like a, a door. Dude, is there like a whole underground area in this one? Because look at the map. There's like a bunch of paths that look like they're below us or above us. Maybe above us? Possibly above us. Interesting. Can't say for sure. What I do know for sure is, can't do anything about it. Let's fight a bird. Bring it on, bird. Bird with a fucking shell on its head. I... Uh... Yeah, okay. So, one, co one comment I got recently told me I should pay attention to my tactical menu. Basically, basically very much like Lunar. I should make sure I, my, my characters are kind of in tactical spots on the tactics 
basically, so their their place, their formation. Basically, it's the formation that they're standing in when I get into a battle. Um, I need I should I should, should take a look at that to make sure that anybody who uh, you know needs to be closer to enemies can be closer to enemies. Uh, so far, it hasn't really been a big deal. I mean, Joshua and Estelle are up front, anyways. I guess I could try to move them even more forward, maybe. But honestly, it's it's been fine so far. I'm not tripping off what we have had to deal with so far. It's been pretty good, actually, I would say. Damn it, he didn't get a crit hit this time. It's okay. It's okay. Don't kill me. Call for backup? Holy shit. Someone called for Big Bird much. That's not good. Alright, we can, we can whip a bitch to death. Me no likey that there's a big ass bird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sever this big bird real quick because he needs to die and not ruin my life. Woo! Kia! Oh my god, he's got a lot of HP. Holy moly. Oh, no, 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 baby. No, 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 baby. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that at all, children. Can I reach this bitch? I think so. No? Can't reach him. All right, well that's bad. Uh, let's let's cry tears for tears for uh, our fearless senpai. Uh, no, not senpai. Sensei, we are the senpai. She is the sensei. That's a dead bird. All right, now what you got for me? Oh my god, he he HP heals too. Oh my god, this is gonna be a hard battle to win. Okay, go for it. Ooh, this is gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be some rough seas right here. All right, gonna tear up my heart when I'm with you. Cause when I am apart, I feel it too. And no matter what I do, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me too. Sylphid whip. Whipper. Whip a tap with his whip a tail. Whip, 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 whip. Whip cream on it. Whip cream on it. Anyway, my must I cry? Because Joshua gonna die. Please don't die, Hashua. Huh? We'll be fine, Hashua. Huh? Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal Joshua again. Take no prisoners, take no chances. I did not heal Joshua. I healed fucking... No, I didn't heal anybody yet. Never mind. Take it back. Uh... I guess just attack him. Does basically... Well, it did less. Not much less, though. For a second there, I thought she didn't do the heal. I was like, what the fuck? Finish him? Ooh? Ooh? Yeah, we got him. All right. Let's try to avoid Big Bird showing up from now on, huh? I mean, I like the extra points and drops we got from it, but no bueno. I wonder if the Hawking Gate is literally only one screen away. That would be nice. Oh, another th comment I got that's actually helpful. Uh, the, the back attack um, situation. So I had somebody clarify the back attack thing. It doesn't matter if the enemy runs into one of your your party members that's in the back of your line. It only matters which direction that your leader is facing, which in our case is Estelle. And that's the only part that matters. So, as long as she's facing toward the enemy when they run into one of your party members, you won't get back attacked. Surprise attacked, whatever it's called. That won't happen. Um, I'm sure it's already happened for me at least once, whether it was you know on accident, on purpose. But it's, I'm sure it's already happened for me. But anyway, I'll, I don't mind fighting another one of these birds. Looks like we're almost at the end of this path, anyways. So let's just let's just uh, what can I do right now? I have no CP. Uh, let's do stone hammer on the bird, fire bolt on the bird. Oh yeah, it's actually super weak to fire. I just noticed. Um, let's do this also. Come on. come on, come on, and fuck them. 
up with stone hams. Booyah, mofo. Now let's see how much burn's gonna do. Or firebolt or whatever it's called. Holy moly! Are you kidding me? It did that much damage? That's awesome, but holy moly, I wasn't expecting it to be that ridiculous. Holy shit. I feel dumb for not using that in the last fight. Someone someone did kind of remind me how the elemental thing works. It, 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 I just have to look at the efficacy of their element, and if it's really high, that means they're actually weak to that element. Well, the bird had fucking full fire efficacy, or whatever it's called, so should have paid attention to that. Clearly, that was the answer to my burn bird, burn, bird burning prayers. Holy moly. Now I really don't care if I fight one of those big birds. Now that I have a secret fiery weapon for them. Holy mo- uh, 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 Holy. Alright, so this screen, or this screen, this path to the Hawking Gate is continued, to be continued. Again, I'm gonna keep fighting. I don't really know why. It just kind of feels right. Uh, yeah, let's just attack. Do, 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 do. Go whip it in the shape. Shape it up. Go ahead. It's not too late to whip it. Whip it good. Oops. Well, that was supposed to be me attacking the other one, but that's okay. We're gonna win this in one turn as long as we don't miss. As long as we don't miss. Don't fucking miss. Alright, we good. Don't fuck you miss, eh? So yeah, we're only about 60 experience points away from a level up. Uh, almost across the board. Charizard needs a little bit more uh, experience than that, but that's cool. Ooh, big bird. Big bird! Burn the bird, and now that we can burn the bird... Alright, say, let's say, let's say, merc that shit. Alright, burn the bird. Probably won't normally kill it in one hit like I did last time. Let's bust that morale up. Only because there's three more birds to kill, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered. Burn, baby, burn. Kill that bird now, burn, baby, burn, burn that birdie down. All right, all right, all right. Woo. Is Estelle gonna finish this right here, right now? It would be pretty sick. Slick. Yo, Slick Rick says victorious. Woo. Thirty more experience points for those sweet level ups. Feeling good about it. Yeah, I keep getting back attacks on these big voids. Ooh, double big void. Okay, okay. Well, the good thing about double big void is I got two people who got that sweet, sweet, sweet hot firebolt action. Uh, my EP is looking okay right now. Joshua hasn't been used at all yet. Good night. Oh, he lives. He lives! He lives! Alright, that's fine. That actually works out okay. We could probably finish him off right here, so it's all good. Gotta level when the person who needs the least amount of healing right now gets their turn first. Oh, come on. This bird's almost dead. Boo! I didn't deserve that shower. Did not deserve that shower. Cause the bird was turning and trying to murder me. Did not deserve that shower. Only 16 XP away from a level. All right, well, I guess we're here. Welcome to the Erebonia border and the Hocking Gate, baby. Let's talk to this hen around. I bet he's a dick bag. Because he's a mm-hmm mother what a dick bag. This is the Hawking Gate? It's freaking huge, man! Of course it's huge. It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire and is the rampart that protects Liberal from foreign threats. 
After it was destroyed in the war 10 years ago, a much more robust wall was built in its place. Standard military action. Bigger always equals better. <clears throat> Which means that beyond this point is no longer liberal. Yeah. It's the territory of the Erebonian Empire. Which stands with beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. The Erebonian Empire. Well, enough staring for one day. Let's go meet with Captain General Morgan. There's some barracks right there to the side of the gate. Maybe we'll find him in there. Okay, let's go. For that. I want to remove those bracer emblems you've got... I want you to remove those bracer emblems you've got pinned on your chest. Things won't be pretty if General Morgan sees those. Oh, I forgot all about that. You forgot the whole reason for this mission. Dummy. Somehow I feel all weird doing this. Yes, there's something that just doesn't feel right about this. Don't worry. That's proof that you've started adjusting to being a bracer. Doing things you don't really want to do. But you do them anyway. Because it was what must be done to be justice. Okay, so is this the barracks they're talking about? I have no idea. Hello. Whoa, blonde haired man. What a surprise. This is my first time eating liberals cooking, but it was rather delectable. I'm glad you liked it. If uh, you head to town, there's a number of other places where you can eat great liberal cooking as well. You enjoy this trip here is all right? That I will do, believe me. If this is the kind of food I can get in a bowl or dive like this, then I truly am in a feast, in for a feast somewhere elsewhere in this land. Well, excuse me for having my bar here on the outskirts of the country. Before you go feasting on the finer things, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high end exactly, but the taste of the price is worth the price. Hmm, then, well then, <laughs> maybe I will. Do you think this guy is... He looks like a travel from the Empire, if you ask me. Okay. This wine is quite good. If this is called cheap wine, then liberal must be a wonderful country of, of taste. I, own, I think this only adds to Queen Alicia's prestige as a ruler. Okay, cool. Welcome to our establishment. Meant to go to shop, not talk. Talk, did not shop. Ooh, he's got some stuff that I don't already... Well, I got this one already, but I don't have this one. So let's buy ourselves a veggie sandwich. That blonde-haired man over there is rather handsome and well-dressed. But after talking to him, I found him to be a little odd. Okay, what's up? I'm a merchant from the Abraham Empire, and I'm on my way to Bose. Cool. Good for you. So I don't think we're in the right place. That's not barracks at all. That's a freaking bar. Where them barracks at? Hey, where them barracks at? Hey, 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 where them barracks at? Maybe it is the barracks, huh? Who in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Eisen Road yet. We came here on an errand for Mayor Maybell from Bowes. Do you think you could get us in to see General Morgan? Explain the mayor's request without disclosing his identity. Well, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you in to see the general, but unfortunately he's out at the moment. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. It looks like our timing was bad. You don't happen to have an idea when he might return, do you? I think we'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in that rest stop over there. Why don't you wait there for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. The bar? You mean the place we were just at? Why is there a bar in a place like this anyway? Obviously because this is the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is really strict, so there are a lot of travelers who have quite have to wait quite a bit. That makes a lot of sense. In that case, it's understandable that you would need facilities like an inn and a bar. Well then, we'll take you up on your suggestion and wait over at the bar. Well then, I guess there is a reason to go back in there. Sorry I didn't check that shit first. Also, you can spin the camera here, just left and right though. You, once you get to a certain point, it just stops you. Okay, we're here now. <sighs> now what? Talk to the dude, I guess? No. Let's go upstairs, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if there's anything up here first. No, not a whole lot of anything going on. Well, somebody might be under the... Oh. I think it's just the perspective. I don't think there's anybody in any of the beds, even though it totally looks like there's a bump on that bed and on this bed. Dead bodies. I guess we'll talk to the guy with the face. Good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal, but may I ask if you're traveling to the Empire? 
Nope, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erebonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Liberal Kingdom? Huh, I'm glad you asked. I am indeed a visitor to Inliberal, both for work and for pleasure. And you, you say you're running an errand, but I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Who we are? Indeed, your braces are new. How'd you know? We removed our bracer emblems. Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but actually I'm not a bracer. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. And there's an air about you that reminded me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you got. I don't think an amateur could have picked this out of a crowd like that. Are you sure you're just a traveler? <laughs> Please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold flickering eyes of amber just like a glass of exqui exquisite brandy. You just make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. Oh god, uh, what? What? You're a bold one, aren't you? Wait a minute, you. Are you a, one of those men who likes other boys? Oh god, Here we. here's this conversation. I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Daughters of serenity, sons of elegance, supernal melodies and cleansing landscapes, masterpieces and stories to move the soul. And last but not least, the most exquisite in food and drink. For such things as these are those which pique my interest. So you're a pervert, just like I thought. Yep, definitely a pervert. How dreadful is it that genius is misunderstood in every generation. I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. With a heart of glass. I don't know the I don't know the lyrics, otherwise I would sing it. Anyway, you with your magnificent black hair and me with my strange use of adjectives and you with your muscular teeth and clockwise vagina. Please comfort me in my time of need. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass. You already scarred me for life as it is. I've heard strange conversations in my day, but this one is worth remembering. The look on that kid's face. <laughs> uh, hey, you there. Oh, you three. Oi. Oh, he's the soldier from earlier. The general's just returned. I just spoke with him about the matter and he said he'll meet with you now. Really? Yep, so come to the barracks with me immediately. Huh. Wow, that was much quicker than I thought. Yeah, now at least maybe we'll be able to find out what's going on. <sighs> so sorry guys, so sorry. No one of those tired, sleepy days. I swear I'd only get to record this game on those days. Okay, then let's be off, shall we? Wait, let's? You're not with me, bro. The fuck? What are you following us around for? Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat in exiting behind us. It seemed almost natural. Scarily so. Huh, you noticed. Everything about you all oh, just seems so interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on, my good gents and mademoiselles. Of course we're going to mind. Not now get you. Shoo shoo! Scrooge. Who was that guy? Seriously, what was his deal? He's not normal, that's for sure. Getting rid of that weirdo was probably better not only for ourselves, but a ser <clears throat> service for the whole world at large. Sorry, water. Now, let's hurry and meet with the general. Go meet with the general and save some time. I could hear some arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? N no, nothing big like that. That aside, could you let us meet with the general? Yeah, he's inside. His office is the last door on the left. Make sure you don't go wandering around in other places where you're not permitted. Alright, so let's explore every single room in here. JK, let's just go where they want me to go. The left, right? This one? The end of the hall on the left. Looks like this is the general's room. Knock. All right, here goes nothing. Knock, knock, knocking on General's door. 
Are you here on behalf of me and the bear, Maybell? <laughs> That's right. Very well, come inside. Thank you for seeing us. Wow, he looks very epic. I'm glad you two came. My name is Morgan. I have been tasked with guarding the Harkin Gate by Her Majesty Queen Alicia. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We are all here on behalf of Mayor Maybell. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. There's no need to apologize. I've known Maybell since she was but a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her request, much less one from the mayor. All right, then. Would you please read this first? Handed over her letter. Hmm. So it's about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential, but considering that this is a request from her, I'll tell you everything I know. Sweet. Why are you happy about something that doesn't concern you? Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. The mayor qu appears quite distraught over the situation, and so we wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that she has been blessed with some good people around her. Let me get right down to things and explain the status of our search efforts. Please do. The airliner Lynn disappeared on its way to Roland after taking off from the Bose landing port. Presently, we have units searching all areas of the region, but we yet have yet to come up with anything. So what you're saying is the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters or an accident is fairly slim, right? If an airship of that size had crashed, it likely would have been discovered in the initial search efforts. Yes, that's exactly right. In fact, the flight route between Bose and Roland goes over some planes that allow a commanding view of the land. And of course, the probability of an airliner going down in Valeria Lake or the ocean is extremely low. Boy, am I relieved to hear that it's probably not a worst case scenario like that. So if those have been ruled out, then that leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship could have been taken, right? Which makes me think that the only remaining motives must be the lo to loot the cargo or demand a ransom for the hostages. In other words, a hijacking, right? Also, considering the geographical conditions, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. And that would be really big news if that were the, the case. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that's quite an imp impressive assessment from some for some civilians. We also consider the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we have enforced strict regulations on the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. War? But thanks to the small mercies of Idios, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. Wait, what? Okay. A certain organization sent a letter to the royal family in Orbalship Co. claiming responsibility and demanding a ransom for the passengers. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. This organization goes by the name of the Capua family. Okay. Starting to put some pieces together. The Capua family? Couldn't be who I think it is, could it? it certainly appears to be that way. The Sky Bandits who have been operating in the shadows in the Bose region and are led by three siblings at their head. I take it you've heard of them. Not only have we heard of them, we just had a run-in with them in Roland. I just can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves have managed to create such a big incident here in Bows. Estelle! Uh, oops? You had a run-in with them in Roland. I had heard of some of their gang had shown up in the Roland region, but... I think he's on to us. Yeah, because of you and your big mouth. I see now. I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange for mere civilians. But I never would have guessed that a girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers. Who are you calling kids? Just for the record, Mayor Maybell did in fact request that we come here and talk to you. Silence, deceivers! Ah, shit. Get in here, men! Ah, shit. He looks pretty pissed. So this is how a hard-nosed military man acts, eh? Uh-oh. What's the matter, General? Did the visitor try to pull anything funny? These bracers need to be shown the door. Throw them out immediately. 
Damn it. We did get some info though, so that's okay. Just what is your problem, man? <sighs> Just what is your problem, man? Trying to brush us off like bugs? Huh, you're no different. Hiding your identity so you can try and finagle in some information out of me? It's because you pull underhanded actions like that that bracers can't be trusted. Just where do you get off calling it finagling? It's your own fault since you didn't share information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense. Uh, who in their right mind would leave an incident to this big to the hands of a mere civilian group? I swear, of all the stupid things Maybell could have pulled, hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in our way is of our search party. How about you cut the crap, General? Cut the crap! Why do you think we've had to come all the way to Roland, from Roland to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, you military morons can't do your jobs! What did you say? Holy cow. Sure's really pissed, alright. For the past several months, you've known about the string of burglaries with burglar 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 burglaries. Which seemed to be the work of the Sky Bandits, right? And who, knowing full well it was them, dumped the workload into onto the guild instead of looking into it for um, themselves like they should have, huh? And now the second this incident happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude. Yet, you've got nothing to show for it. No hostages or even the location of the missing airliner. Don't you think it's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom? Got him. Silence, girl! The military is an organization that runs on discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group I know who didn't think ahead and let the Sky Bandits escape. As enough with your insolence. So, so enough with your insolence. Sorry, my fucking... I, God, I'm so zoned, man. Why am I so zoned? I'm in my zone. Anyway, I'm not feeling alright. So you're look, really looking for a fight, aren't you? Oh. Uh, man's voice. I'm gonna guess it's, it's the dude that we just met at the bar. How sad it is to see such discord. Yep, called it. Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Let me sing a requiem for you all, one to soothe your parched souls. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle, brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your hearts to bloom. Brightly shooting stars, leaving trails in the skies. Like a guiding light, they show me the way to your eyes. This yearning passion tears my heart in twain, and the cruel moon mocks my pain. If this fleeting dream shall never be A single wound will remain in my heart for all to see A passionate first and final kiss Your tears to me are an amber bliss and let us immure this eternal love. Wh um. Encore! Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> it looks like you all understood what I was trying to get across. What is it that is most precious above all? That's love and peace, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I think it's about time for the search party to be returning to the re with their reports. That's right, General. I should get back to my duties and make sure you don't let those kids in again. And their stinking dog, too. Oh, and cancel any other further checks on the travelers along the Eisen Road. Having these kids around any longer will just be an eyesore. Right away, sir. He ran away. I wish we could escape. He's still right behind us, isn't he? Indeed he is. <laughs> no matter which country you visit, military men lack romanticism. 
But you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic sense. You know, uh, maybe we should get going ourselves. Yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get some information. After we head back to Bose, how about we think about our future plan of attack? Alright. Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from you, barred man. Wait for me! I mean, please wait for me! Please wait for him, he says. Please. Let me try and introduce myself again. I'm Oliver Lenheim, a wandering bard and musician by trade. As you already know, I am an Erebonian touring your fair liberal. I'm Estelle, but... Hey, now wait a minute. Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy Estelle, he didn't intercede for us back there. I'm Yashua. And I'm Charizard. Things were getting pretty heated and I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Let me just say thanks. Huh, you've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about going out on a date with me for a day? Mm, yes, I can see that you, uh... Have the, um, well, how you say, assets. Mm, yes, quite. I'm going to have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of free time. Oh, that's too bad. All right, then. I guess I'll accept Joshua as a substitute. What do I have to do with any of this? He's telling you to bend over and pull down your dignity. Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, that's odd. I didn't mean this as a joke. I really wanted to funk you from behind. Saying that makes you even more questionable. Now, just a minute. How come you didn't invite me on a date? Because he doesn't want to toss your salad. Duh. You? Um, I don't know how to put this, but you're a bit lacking in the sexy department. You might want to think about taking a lesson or two from your friends here. Well, excuse me for not being sexy. And just what do you mean by saying I should take a few lessons from Joshua? Calm down, Estelle. I think you're cute enough just the way you are. Perfect just the way you are. Though I guess it's true, you are a bit lackluster in the sexy category. Got her! What did you just say? Oh, good grief. Anyway, like I said before, we're busy. I'm sorry there's not a better way to thank you, but we've got to get going. Then how about you take me along with you to the city of of Bose? This is my first time in Liberal, after all, and I'd like to request a guide. Well, if that's all you want, then I don't mind. Shira, now just wait a second. It's the least we can do, and we're headed to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide is one of Appraiser's many duties. Alright, I guess we're stuck with him until then. But what if he tries to sink his poisonous fangs on of lust of his poisonous fangs of lust into Joshua? Uh, Estelle? Don't don't you worry, Joshua. I'll save you from his perverted attentions if he tries anything funny. What is it exactly that you think he'll try? Please don't refer to me like I'm some sort of ferocious beast. I, I'd rather I'd rather you could you call me a hunter of love. Sorry, I was doing the wrong voice. Even love steal wouldn't be that bad of a title either. <laughs> Are you right in the head? So how about it, everyone? Shall we leave for bows? I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. So let us be off. Who died and made you leader? Hey, wait a minute, you. I'm not done warning you about the grisly fate that awaits you if you sully Joshua's innocence. Yeah, Shira was gonna break him in, remember? Also, hell yeah, he's a party member! Party people! We got four. Four. Four party members. Party people! Um. Oh. I was trying to go to him, but I. Okay, okay, and he's got a gun. Okay, he's got a needler. Straight out of Halo. Got the needler like a fucking hoe. Straight out of Halo. Wait, is a leather vest better than a leather jacket? It's not. 
All right, so what was his name? All Olivier Lenheim. I called him Oliver, but it's Olivier. Olivier Lenheim. I don't even know. Am I going to remember Olivier? I guess I am. All right, I'm going to take like two second break. Be right back. 